Hi friends, welcome to all. In this video, we are going to discuss CCNA version 7 packet tracer activity, uh, secure networks devices. Before coming to this activity, friends, if you are watching our channel first time, or if you like to get these type of technical videos in future, consider subscribing. Also, don't forget to enable that bell icon near to the subscribe button so that you will get notification message whenever we upload a new video. And also, if you like to get more technical contents or if you like to contact our team, you can visit our website. Link you will get from our Facebook page. Now, coming back to our packet tracer activity, here we can see our addressing table with the device interface, its address and mask. Here is our requirements. To keep this activity brief and easy to manage, some security configuration settings have not been made. In other cases, security best practices have not been followed. In this activity, we will configure a router and a switch based on a list of requirements. Now coming to the instructions. In step 1, document the network. Complete the addressing table with the missing information. Coming to our addressing table, here we can see uh, default gateways are not set uh, for these devices SW-1, PC, Laptop and Remote PC. We have to update these uh, devices gateway. Coming to our topology, here we can see uh, PC, Laptop and SW-1 is connected to uh, this interface that is a gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 0 slash 0 in this router rtr hyphen a hence gateway for these devices uh, will be the ip address of this interface uh, gigabit ethernet 0 slash 0 slash 0 uh, in this router rtr hyphen a uh, we will update this information coming to our spreadsheet so here we can see the ip address of the interface gigabit ethernet 0 slash 0 slash 0 in this router rtr hyphen a we will copy this IP address and we will assign as gateway for SW-1, then for PC and for this laptop. Now we can see this remote PC is connected to this interface uh, gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 0 slash 1 in this router RTR hyphen A. So obviously the default gateway for these devices will be the IP address of this interface uh, gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 0 slash 1 in this router RTR hyphen A. Now we will go to our spreadsheet and we will copy this IP address and for gateway of a remote PC we will assign this IP address as gateway. Now we will come to step 2 router configuration requirements. Prevent iOS from attempting to resolve uh, mistyped commands to domain names. Okay, we can do that. We will go to router CLI presenter. Enable configure terminal. Here we will give a no IP. Now we have to give a domain lookup. Yes, no IP domain lookup. Next is the host names that match the values in the addressing table. Okay, in addressing table, it's given RTR hyphen A. We will copy this device name. We have to set the host name. It's here. Okay, it's done. Now, require that newly created passwords be at least 10 characters in length that means we have to set the security passwords minimum length so here we can give that security passwords minimum length 10 next is a strong 10 character password for the console line use this password okay we will copy this password then coming to RTR hyphen A, we will go to line console 0. Then we will set the password 
as specified okay then press enter now we have to give login next is ensure that console and the vty sessions close after a uh, seven minutes exactly okay we can do that now we are in line console here we can give the uh, commands exit timeout timeout in minutes so they specified seven timeout in seconds okay we will give zero or uh, we will uh, leave as it is then we'll press enter now we will exit then we will go to line vty 0 to 15 all the lines then we will give exit timeout 7 minute next is a strong encrypted 10 character password for the privileged exit mode for this activity it is uh, permissible to use the same password as the console line okay here we can see our uh, uh, console line password we will copy it then coming to our router we will exit then we will enable secret and here is the password next is a MOTD banner that is message of the day banner uh, that warns about unauthorized access to the devices okay we can do that we will set the banner MOTD. We will start with the delimiter. We will give this uh, dollar symbol. Then we will give the message unauthorized access is uh, strictly prohibited. Then we will end with the same delimiter. Okay. No uh, password encryption for all passwords. Okay, we can do that. Service password encryption. Service password hyphen encryption. Then press enter. Next is a username of a net admin with the encrypted password. Log admin exclamation 9. Okay, we will set that. We will copy this uh, username. So here we will give a username, it's here. Then the password, we will give us a secret. We will copy this password. Okay, then press enter. Now enable SSH, uh, use security.com as the domain name. Then uh, use a modulus of uh, 1024. Then the VTY lines uh, should use SSH for incoming connections. Okay, we will do that. First of all, we will give a crypto key generate RSA. So please define a domain name first exactly. So we have to give that first. IP domain name. It's uh, security.com. Now we will give a crypto key generate RSA. So how many bits in the modulus are specified 1024. Now we will go to line VTY. Uh, we will give for all the lines from 0 to 15. Okay, then transport input ssh then we have to give a login uh, local now the vty line should use the username and password that were configured to authenticate logins yes already we given this a uh, username and password uh, and uh, given this a uh, login local so that it will use this uh, username and password uh, that were configured to authenticate uh, logins. Next is impair a brute force uh, login attempts by using a command that blocks a uh, login attempts for 45 seconds. If someone fails three attempts uh, within 100 seconds, we will do that. We will exit from this uh, line VTY. Here we will give 
login block for it's uh, 45 for uh, three attempts within 100 seconds okay that's all in this router rtr hyphen a now we will come to step three switch configuration requirements all unused switch ports are administratively down yes now we are going to configure this switch sw-1 we are not going to configure this sw-2 and it's already locked okay here we will verify the used ports in this switch it's connected to gigabit ethernet 0 slash 1 this rtr hyphen a is connected to this interface pc is connected to uh, fast ethernet 0 slash 2 and this laptop is connected to fast ethernet 0 slash 10 now we will shut down all other unused ports so coming to sw hyphen 1 enable configure terminal we will go to the interface as a range so we have to disable fast ethernet 0 slash 1 2 is used then fast ethernet 0 slash 3 till 9 because the 10 is used now uh, fast ethernet 0 slash 11 till 24 also we have to disable uh, gigabit ethernet 0 slash 2 because gigabit ethernet 0 slash 1 is already used okay now we will give shutdown next is the sw-1 default management interface should accept connections over the network use the information shown in the addressing table the switch should be reachable from the uh, remote networks okay we will configure a management interface in this uh, switch here we can see its ip address we will copy its address and here we can see its mask also we have to set its uh, gateway now we will exit from these uh, interfaces then we will go to the interface vlan1 and we will uh, set IP address it's here then it's mask now we will uh, give no shutdown okay also uh, we will assign it's a default gateway we will exit and will give IP default gateway it's one door to one right Now use uh, this password as the password for the privileged exit mode. Okay, we can do that. We will copy this password. It's enable secret. And here is our password. Then press enter. Next is the configure SSH as was done for the router. Okay, we can do that. First of all, we will set IP domain name as uh, security.com. Okay, now we will uh, create the crypto key generate RSA. Oh, please define a host name. Okay, we have to define the host name as SW-1. Host name SW-1. Now we have to give a crypto key generate RSA. How many bits in the modulus? It's a one zero two four. Now we will go to a line VTY uh, for all the lines so zero to fifteen, or even we can give zero to four also. Here we will give all the lines uh, from zero to fifteen. Okay, here we will give transport input ssh also we will give a login local so we have to create the username and password okay we will do that later so login local 
Next is create a username of net admin with encrypted secret password here. Okay. So we will copy this uh, username. We will exit and we will give a username. We already copied that. Then a secret password, it's here. And we will paste here. Then press enter. Now the VTV lines should only accept connections over SSH. Yes, we given uh, transport input SSH. The VTV lines should only allow the network administrator account to access the switch management interface. We given that uh, login local uh, so that it will uh, ask for this uh, uh, username and password what we set. Now house on both LANs should be able to ping the switch management interface. Okay, we will uh, try that. We will get our uh, switch IP address. Then uh, we will uh, ping from this PC first. Command prompt. Ping to our uh, switch. And we are waiting for the replies. It's working. Now we will go to remote PC. Command prompt. We will uh, try to ping to our uh, switch. Request timed out. Maybe one or two request timed out. Come. Yes. Now it works. Once more we will try. Here we can see sent for or received for zero percentage loss. Yes. So friends, in this video we discussed our packet tracer activity uh, secure network devices. And here we can see our completion status. It's 100%. Now, dear friends, if you have any doubt, any suggestions regarding this packet tracer activity, please comment below. Also, if you like our video, give a thumb and share with all your friends. Support, subscribe and stay tuned for the future videos. Thank you.